This is the beginning of a support system for a huge affection for grapes. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. You know, over here on the west side of the house, it gets really hot in the afternoon. And so one of the landscape features I wanted to have here is an arbor, and that's what the guys are building right now. Even though we're getting a little bit of rain, they're just pushing right on through. So what they're trying to do right now are get these five by five posts in the ground. There are three of them. The length of this thing, once you have the timbers running across, it will be a full 20 feet, slightly smaller than the width of the house itself. And what I did is I placed it away from the house, well enough away. It ended up being about 15 feet. And the reason I say about 15 feet is I wanted to center it up on this little tree that we saved. This little willow oak from the very beginning of the project we all like. It's right here. And so it's centered on that particular plant. And it'll be seven feet high. So your timbers, which will support it, will be at the seven foot mark. And then above that will be shade timbers that will run this way because the western sun is over there. So there'll be shade on this side of the garden. So it gives us an opportunity to have another outdoor living space. What I'm really thinking is gonna be fun is to grow grapes on this, some delicious table grapes. There's a gorgeous one called Reliance. It does very well for us here. So I wanna cover this whole arbor with grapes. There'll be a path that'll wind around through it. And the arbor itself is five feet wide. There'll be a path through that. We leveled off this yesterday because this particular lot sloped. So on, on that far southwest corner, we ran a wall across there using the rocks. We saved every rock on the project. And so we built a very crude, dry retaining wall, meaning there was no mud used joining the rock together. Now what they're doing here is they're putting up braces for the post because around each one of these posts, come on over here, I'll show you. We're gonna put concrete down in here to a depth of about 18 inches. And once the concrete sets, everything will be square and plumb. And Tony will be able to put those support timbers up and then the shade timbers. We're gonna let this weather to a beautiful sort of gray with a sort of silvery patina, just like the floor on the back deck of a house. Of course, ultimately, the idea is to have this thing completely covered and abundant with those delicious grapes, the Reliance grape that I was talking about from the Berry family of nurseries. They're a great table grape, which are really easy to grow. So the idea would be to plant one of those on each one of these posts and train it up and let the whole bonnet be covered with grapevine. If you're enjoying these updates on the landscape and picking up a few ideas, make sure you check in regularly and subscribe to eHow Home. Now I gotta get back to work.